Hello again, everybody. Sci-Fi Guy 86 here with my newest creation. Um, the last video I did a redstone tutorial for you of a two-wide uh, trapdoor. Now this is kind of an expansion of that, except instead of a single piston uh, retraction, what I have, if I can fly, there we go. What I have is this uh, magic drawbridge that allows you to get across a four wide gap instead of a two wide and it's a double extension horizontal. Oops, I just broke my button. Okay, so I'm going to press this button and it pops it out. Now the one downside to this is that you can see your sticky pistons after it pops out your drawbridge. It's the one downside. But if you have lava down there, it won't matter either way because if they miss uh, if they miss the drawbridge then the, they won't be looking at those pistons for long. Um, also, it gives you that bridge across a four-wide hallway, which is really nice. And then you can drop unsuspecting crossers into the lava. It's very quick. Um, also, what's very nice about this is that it's also expandable. If you look, all you have to do is expand this circuit. Um, this here is a count of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this here is a count of 1, 2, 3. So I would say you could probably extend this 10 more, or 10 total, uh, 10 long. So 10 long is actually really, really quite useful. Um, if I get, I'm going to say if 25 views reach, if I reach 25 views on this uh, video, I'll give you a tutorial for this. But what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm just going to show it in action, and then I'm going to give you a kind of a, a fly-through tour of what this, this thing is built out of. Okay, so first off, we've got our button going into what I call a pulse uh, shortener. And it's, it's, a little, it's a little weird, but it allows the uh, pistons to ex um, extend all the way, and then instead of having the full pulse enough to retract the block with them, because if you put, like watch, I'll put a button right here. Without that pulse link, or pulse shortener there, all it does is stick it out for a second and stick it back. And you can put a lever there, and that, that, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, I'm not saying that that's a bad design either. I mean, it kinda, it's actually, it looks kind of nice having the pistons sticking out like that. Um, here, let me go ahead and put a lever on there just so you can see what I'm talking about by that. So, lever, extend the pistons, and then it kind of looks like the pistons are there to hold the bridge, you know, and it makes a little sense, but, you know, we're, we're trying to eliminate the pistons altogether. The closest I got was putting the pistons out of sight, and by doing this little pulse shortener here, I have, in fact, managed to, oops, if I flip the lever first. It's got to be off. There we go. So press the button. It extends, but it's not long enough of a pulse for it to retract the block with it. It just retracts the piston and leaves the block out there. But then the next time you press the button, it acts like a T flip-flop, and it's activated. So it's almost like what you've done is you've turned these blocks here into monostables, because every time you send a pulse into it, it's either going to leave it there or grab it from there. So it's definitely like a T flip flop, but there's no T flip flop in here, so it's definitely pretty cool. A neat, neat little uh, design. Um, definitely plan to show you guys how to do this. Like I said, once I reach 25 views on this channel, so if it's not to 25 views yet and you're watching this, please share this video and I will show you how to build it. But first off, I'm going to go ahead and show you the timings on these things. Now, there are three different timings that are are three different pulses that are necessary to happen here. The very first one is the pulse that has to be extended to uh, this row of pistons as well as this row of pistons. Okay, so what happens is this one gets extended first, but then this one catches this one. Now this one's already been ex ac activated, but that means that it, I think I think a one button is like a seven tick pulse or something like that. It shortens that pulse, and so it leaves that block out there. And then it retracts it, okay. And then you have another pulse that happens here, which is this little section here that happens after that t that 
other pulse. So it goes through all that delay for that first pulse, goes down, hits all this stuff. So it's got another two ticks after that false pulse, or two ticks after that first pulse, which allows it to grab that second block there. So it, it this one pushes that, and then it pushes that immediately, and then immediately pulls it back because that pulse ends really quickly. And then this one causes that second piston to extend and grab that block and bring it back. So, I like it. I think it's worth it. Um, oh, jeez, there we go. And if you think it's worth it and you would like to learn step by step how to build this, I will provide you with a tutorial, as I said, once this channel, or once this video reaches 25 views. So, share this video, and I'll see you next time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.